My first guest I have not met yet, but he is said to be the oldest active politician. I guess if you were a county clerk, you are in politics mm -hmm. to a certain extent. In the United States, he still holds a public office. Uh, he is the county clerk of Knoxville, Illinois. He's 97 years old. His name is Laverne McDavid. Would you welcome Mr. McDavid, please? <laughs> How are you, Mr. McDavid? Well, quite well tonight. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. May I call you Laverne? Is that yes, all right? Yes, you can. Yes, that's great. A little bit familiar and easy to understand. Yeah. I like your outfit. Well, thank you. Thank you. You like Western hats? Well, yes. I, uh, I, uh, I buy lots of hats. Yeah. And uh, some hats that I like, the folks don't like at all. Yeah. And sometimes you buy a poor-looking hat, and they think it's great. Yeah, but you're old enough to do what the hell you want, to, can't you? Never <laughs> mind what anybody else cares. Do uh, do people get when you they first hear your name, Laverne? Yeah. I suppose they think it's a woman, right? Oh yes, yes. I went through college. I was uh, I was uh, called in before the dean more times. Said that I was a woman living in a man's dormitory. Yeah. <laughs> Were you? Oh, no, I wasn't. Okay. <laughs> I said it's my own business. Good for you. Uh, I cannot believe you're 97 years old. Well, I am. You look sensational. You Thank really you. look. What's what's the nickname? Somebody said you had a nickname. Well, uh, I'm. Uh, you're taken from Ivanhoe. There was a man who did a number of things, and and he uh, he was censored for it mm -hmm. because they thought he was trying to cover up his personality, but he wasn't. And he said you can call me anything, uh, this or that or. The, it, it, uh, whatever you think it applies to my personality or my what I do. Uh -huh. Well, you can call me Laverne McDavid, Laverne McDavid, Laverne McDavid, or Captain Mac. Captain Mac. Yes. Is so that what you like to go by? Well, uh, on a case like this, yes, I I think it's a little easier to remember and easier to uh, be associated with. Yeah. I notice you wear your hair long. Well, if you always worn your hair long, turn around. Let it, can you mind? Let them take a look at this. Well, I'll, I'll let the folks take a look at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of nice. All right, is that just recently because of the trend, or have you been doing that for a number of years? Well, I uh, I had kind of started a little bit uh, first uh, two or three years. I let the dark the uh, barber take her with it a little bit. Yeah. And the hair wouldn't grow back. Yeah. No, it wouldn't grow a bit. So. But I finally coaxed it down to where it is now, and that's to throw the scissors away. Yeah. It's good. It's good. How long have you been the county clerk? And what, well, what's the town now? Uh, Knoxville, Knoxville Illinois. Illinois. Yeah. 34 years. 34 years? Yeah. You still enjoy it? Yeah. Is yeah. that an appointed office? Do you have to No, run? no. We go before the voters, and uh, and they uh, vote uh, in or out. Really? Yeah. And they voted you in for 34 well, years? 34 years. That's great. Is, is that a... A high-paying job? No, sir. Oh, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't mean to get personal there, Captain Mac. And I don't know how ever sound to think it is either. Yeah. So keep that quiet. Now, do you, re do you get Social Security, or do you have to retire before you get Social no, Security? No, no. The law says when you're a certain age, 65, why you can go on Social Security. So you've been getting Social Security for 30-some? I would say, yeah. Well, you, you do all the subtracting you can, yeah. you're probably right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is it? Is you like your job? You still? Uh, Why? Yes, I did, and I liked it because we had. <coughs> when I started in, we had certain objectives, and it took us thirty-four years to accomplish those objectives. Yeah. We had to build bridges, and we had to uh, improve roads uh -huh. all year round. Roads. Yeah. And then uh, one of our most serious problems is uh, is uh, issuing uh, money for the relief. Yeah. For people who are uh, who need a few dollars to. Right before they can get on the regular right. government subsidies. Now, you're, you're 97. Were you were you married? I'm a, I was married, yes. You were married. I, my wife passed away 10 years ago. Oh, I'm sorry. It was first only, only marriage? Only marriage, yes. Yeah. You remember when you met her? How you met her? Yes, I do. I had, oh, I had several girlfriends. Oh, I, did you? I was in college. <laughs> I had the same college you were. You did? Yes. There was... It was girls down there, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember all those girlfriends? Well, I had three or four girls, but I yeah. uh, just, uh, in, in college style, well, you know all about this. Yeah. You'd go with a girl this year, and then next year you'd just jump her, 
and get a new Greek book or a new... When you say jumper, you mean lever? Lever. Yeah. Lever. <laughs> lever. I want to hear a little joke there. You got a little joke here. Yeah, yeah, that's a different term now. So you, so when you met your wife, yeah. hey, she was in college still? No, she uh, she deserted the college. She didn't think much of college. Yeah. No. She thought a lot of me. Yeah. Yeah, but she didn't think much of college. I bet it was a happy marriage. Oh, it so. was. It was. It was a happy marriage. Well, now your wife's been gone for ten years. Yeah. Have you ever thought of getting married again? No, sir. I Why don't. not? Well, uh, I uh, I had a lot of work to do. Yeah. Yes, and I had uh, I had a lot of work. I had to wash the dishes. And well, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah. Oh, I mean, and I had to uh, make the bed and do the cooking. And I thought I got no time to be looking around for a wife when he's got that sort of a program every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but. See, but maybe if you had a wife, you wouldn't have to do the cooking and the making the beds and all that. Well, uh, now there's a problem, and it's a serious one. Uh, these, uh, uh, these, this second wife business, you know, and uh, you uh, got your money, and she's got her money, you, and you don't know whether you get her money or not. You got that right. <laughs> Why didn't I meet you some time ago? Myself. You probably get tired of the same old questions, Captain Mack, about your age and so forth. What do you do to stay healthy? Everybody's got to answer you that. Well, you look in great they, shape. Yeah, they all ask that same question. Yeah. And uh, you didn't go into the depth of it, but they usually, uh, they usually start out by examining and asking me the questions about how I did yeah. and if I smoked. And do you I, smoke? No. Don't smoke, okay. And if I drank. You drink? No. No drink. <laughs> and, uh, you don't run around with women? Uh, no. no. <laughs> and, uh, well, I got eliminated. I got it down pretty low. Right? Yes, you <laughs> doesn't mean you Doesn't leave you much left to celebrate on your 98th birthday, does it? <laughs> but, uh, I, uh, if I, I don't use a, I don't swear either. But I, might little, I might use a little rougher word. Would it be all permissible? Sure. Yeah. Well, I said, uh, but I have that one fall. Oh? Well, I said, what in the world is it? I said, I talk too damn much. Well, that's okay. <laughs> that's all right. Uh, so, you, did you ever drink at all? No, I didn't. You've Ooh, never tried? Come, come on now. I might have toasted the president of the college, you know, or the basketball team or the football team, you know. You, you sometimes step out of line when the enthusiasm gets too high. Yeah. What would you have? A little um, whiskey or? Well, I think it was uh, lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> You think I'm going to buy that, don't you? <laughs> huh? So what, what do you do now when you're not at the, uh, the county clerk's office? Huh? How, how do you spend your, your weekends and your, well, your time? Well, uh, uh, I have other activities. Yeah? yeah. I, I, have, oh, I have my work to do, and uh, I have a little money, uh -huh. and I have to look around to how to invest it, you know. Right. Quite a game they do these days. Isn't it, though? Oh, it is. You take a problem. He's been making 12% at one loan, and somebody else takes it to 13, and he draws his money out and puts it in another bank. You know, yeah. you know that, how that works. Sure does, yeah. And it takes about half their time just to run from one bank to another. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who, was the, who was the first president you ever voted for? Well, uh, uh, Woodrow Wilson. <laughs> Woodrow Wilson? Yeah, yeah he, he was quite a man. I mean, the president of Princeton University. Yeah. That. Oh, yeah, yeah, remember that. Okay, tell you what, we're going to do a commercial. We'll come back and chat a little more, okay? Yeah, All right, stay where you are. We'll be right back. <laughs> we're back. Thank you, Doc. We were talking. We're talking with Laverne or Captain Mac McDavid. 97 years old and a uh, county clerk in uh, Rockford, is it? No, no. Uh, I missed it. Knoxville. Knoxville, Knoxville yeah. Illinois. I'm sorry. Exactly. Forgive me. Easy to remember. I ought to give them a plug, yeah. Look, you, uh, somebody told me that at one time, maybe you still do, you had a musical act yes, with your I, brother? Yes, yes, we had a musical act in college and uh, during the summertime when we were back home, I sometimes we'd pack up our instruments, take a tour, went through Wisconsin and Make a little extra money? Well, we're broke either. But, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not too bad. You can't make much money at the music business. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
What what kind of an act did you do? Would you play instruments? Uh, oh yes, yes. I played the uh, guitar and the clarinet and the two just clarinets. My brother played the mandolin and violin. Is that right? Yes, we did. What kind of songs? Do you remember the songs you did? Well, yes. Uh, on the banks of the Wabash. Can you do a little bit of it? Well, I would if I could get a little support. You betcha. Ross, you know a little, just a little piano? I better stand up. Oh, sure, if you like. Oh, the moonlight fared to ride along the wall bash Through the sycamore, the light is right and green Through the candlelight, the candle vines are gleaming on the banks of the Wabash, far away. Yeah. <laughs> you said you, you said to me you had lib little in there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> snuck in there. You have a nice voice. I I, I Missed a couple of lines. That's all right. You you hit it very well. You just went straight ahead. Yeah, right on. Right, right, right ahead. Right up with it. Yeah. <laughs> you, have, have you traveled a lot in your life? Various places? Well, yes. Is there any place you've never gone that you like? If you had a, if you had a chance and said, hey. Well, I've had one uh, objective. I had two or three objectives. My last objective, uh, one I'd like to finish up on, and I wanted to go to Egypt. I wanted to go down to Cairo. Why is that? Well, I, I had an aversion of going to Hawaii. Every man and woman, they put one of the rocks out over there sitting down on them. Yeah. Yeah, you know that. And uh, they've gone to Catalina, too. Yeah, that's not far from here. Yeah. But Egypt, huh? Yeah, Egypt, yeah. yeah. And it's a, it's a, it, nobody ever goes there. It might be now. <laughs> that's the safest place in the world. Because uh, if they tore up the town, it wouldn't make any difference anyway. <laughs> Well, it's not bad logic, I guess, and I guess it is the start of civilization. Start of civilization. Yeah. Well, you're a fascinating gentleman. When, no, when's your birthday? When, when's your 23rd birthday? 23rd of December. 23rd yeah. of December. You'll be 98 years old. 98 years old. Well, well that's, I, that's I great. I've got a little question. I, I a little request of you. Yes, sir. You're a proper fellow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And uh, I'll have my birthday along about, I'll have it early in de December. Uh -huh. Just to avoid the rush of 23rd, yes, so close to Christmas. That's right. I might not get any presents either. That's true. <laughs> That's true. That's one of the hazards of being so close to Christmas. Yes, yes. The last year I had I had the uh, I had dignitaries from the cabinet and uh, Congress, and they called me during my two hours that I was celebrating. Yes, I, mm -hmm. I'd appreciate if you'd call me on that day. We'll notify you. You got my word on. Have you? You got my I word on. Thank you it. very much. I would be happy to call you on your birthday. Yes, sir. And I'll mark that down number one, and I hope that'll influence the president to come along. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Captain Mack, for being with us. Thank you very much. Nice gentleman, isn't he? Wonderful. Well, I, hope, I hope I'm kicking around like that at 97. Me too. Yeah. We'll be right back. Steve and Edie are here tonight. Stay where you are. <laughs>